Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video commentary which I'll be focusing on the southern cassowary or Cassararius cassararius. This is one of the largest bird species known to science currently on the planet. This beautiful bird is named after the Papayan wording for horned head which is a reference to the helmet of tough skin on the crown of the head. The southern cassowary ranges in height from 1.3 to 1.7 metres tall with females being larger and heavier than males. Females weigh up to 60 kilograms, with males weighing far less, with the average weight being up to 35 kilograms. This is perhaps a form of sexual dimorphism. I've also mentioned two other large flightless bird species, which we'll now have the pleasure of viewing in the current slides. Here you have a species of bird known as the emu, with the Latin name Dromaeus hovanadi, which is listed as least concerned by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. This species of bird is known as the Rhea, or by its Latin name, Rhea americanus. This species is also listed by the IUCN, and it is classified currently as near threatened. A southern cassowary is found in Australia, New Guinea, and a few nearby tropical islands, which are highlighted in green on the slide. Southern cassowary only inhabits 20 to 25 percent of their original range, with vast amounts of territory being lost to habitat destruction. Current development, such as clearing large sections of forest for agriculture, lumber, and human settlement, has caused a massive population decline in this species. The IUCN lists the southern cassowary as vulnerable on their appendix database with recovery plans now in place which are currently being monitored by the Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service. The southern cassowary is known as a frugivore and has a diet mainly consisting of fruit but the diet also will include some small vertebrates and invertebrates. Cassowaries also play an important ecological role in dispersing a large number of different seed species throughout the year. Cassowaries will often use the cask or helmet located on the top of their skull to push past vegetation and ensuring that mobility is far easier which reduces travel time to potential foraging locations. Cassowaries are generally solitary animals by nature and males are often subordinates to females if they ever encounter each other in the wilderness. Females will lay several clutches of eggs during a breeding season which ranges from June all the way to October. The male incubates the eggs for up to 50 days and guards the offspring for a total of 16 months, which is quite a high level of parenting amongst bird species and shows that males can also perform a high level of parenting within different species. Thought I'll finish off with this absolutely stunning image of, in my opinion, a little scene that depicts the similarities between dinosaurs and current day birds. The animal on the left would be some form of oviraptor from the late Cretaceous period, which I think translate to egg thief in the common tongue. They would generally steal uh, eggs from dinosaurs' nests. You did get some quite large species, but this is a rough height comparison to the southern cassowary, which we recovered, and it would be generally the same size. More and more research is being done and now confirming that birds are more closely related to dinosaurs than reptiles. And more images are being shown in dinosaur books or books illustrating prehistoric life or paleontology with dinosaurs being covered in feathers as opposed to scales. I have really liked the southern cassowary and I also covered it as a part of a presentation for a eco ecology project which I had to present in front of a classroom at my current college. If you enjoyed the video ladies and gentlemen feel free to comment like and subscribe and until then enjoy the rest of your day or evening wherever you are in the world goodbye